Good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another episode with Bama Saltwater here. So, it is a beautiful morning in early November here in South Alabama. And we're going to go to the seawall and try to target after some sheep's head. They are starting to come in. The weather's gotten a little cool. Normally, late fall all the way to early spring is when the sheep's head, which is a very tasty and delicious fish, um, start biting. So, we're going to go out and try to target them. They're pretty pesky fish and they, they have a very subtle bite. So we're gonna go out, we got some shrimp and then we're gonna go pick up some filler crabs and see if we can get on one. So stay tuned, let's see if we can catch some fish. We have arrived, we're in Orange Beach at Perdido Pass. This is a very beautiful area to fish. It's where a lot of big boats in the summer go in and out to access the Gulf of Mexico. And it's normally uh, pretty successful fishing over here. A lot of structure along the wall. So we got some filler crabs, we got some live shrimp, and uh, mom is with me today, Miss Lee's over here. We're gonna get set up and get out there and see what we can do. All right, so we're out here in Perdido Pass, Alabama, along the seawall, just trying to do some sheep's head fishing. It's that time of year. Uh, using a pretty simple rig, I've used it in some other videos. Carolina rig, we got a one ounce egg sinker, swivel, I'm using 16 pound Sunline fluorocarbon. Going to a number 10, 3X strong Mustad treble hook. Um, the sheep's head, I like using these treble hooks. All you need to fish here is a saltwater fishing license. And if you're going after mangrove snapper, which they are here, you need the reef fish endorsement as well. Um, if you plan on keeping them and fishing for them. I also have some sheep's head jigs. These are just a swing jig, which uh, we might end up using this as well, but the current's flowing pretty quick. So, uh, But our bait is gonna be live shrimp, which y'all seen how to hook a live shrimp before, and then also a fiddler crab. And I'll show you a fiddler crab. This right here is a fiddler crab. This is one of the best sheep's head baits ever. And uh, they have a big claw on them. Uh, I, do you want your claw broken off? I normally like breaking off the claw. So I normally like breaking off the claw. Hopefully I don't get any hate for that toss that back and then your filler crab you're going to come out take your treble hook and turn it upside down in the back leg i like to hook it going through the back leg and come out the top of the shell just like that and that's your simple rig and you all you got to do is just drop it straight down beneath the wall kind of to the bottom you can suspend it you just got to find where the fish are and hopefully we can get bit so let's get to fishing also the other rig i'm going to be using today is a sheep's head swing jig it's just a lead head and a live bait hook these are real effective they don't require a bunch of swivels and everything i just tie a double uni knot from my braid to my leader and then straight to the jig you can feel the bite a little better these are made by birds of prey fishing tackle you can check it out on facebook um, go check it out it's birds of prey and uh, they make some awesome stuff. I love their jig heads and then these swing jig heads are awesome as well. So let's uh, bait up and get to fishing. Mom's gonna be using the filler crab right now. I'm gonna be using the live shrimp. This time of year, you don't wanna go after the real big shrimp. I, I personally like the real tiny, tiny shrimp. So I don't complain when you get tiny shrimp at the bait shop because uh, a big shrimp's kind of a waste of shrimp for a sheep's head. And just hook it through the head and let's drop this down. And all I'm using today is a 2500 HG Stratic on a 7 foot medium action spinning rod. 15 pound braid. And the current is moving pretty hard today. I'm going to toss it up current there. And let it drift down. Oh, took my shrimp. All right, I've had to increase my weight a little bit. This, this tide is moving out pretty strong. So you just gotta make sure you're bringing different size weights. Start out light, and if it's not working for you, increase your weight. Because normally the heavier your weight sometimes can affect how you feel your bite um, from these very subtle biting fish. But uh, I increased it to my one ounce weight over here. And if you can, you want to get out here during a tide change 
because then the water will kind of be still for a little bit and usually make it a little easier to, to get a bite but at the same time just get out when you can fish you got one oh crap mom's got one i gotta go gotta go over there ah ah there you go what you got oh dang something good sheep's head sheep's head here i can hand line it up okay. you excited i am all right no, I don't have a oh man that's a good one that's a keeper oh it's gonna it's gonna be hard ready three two one <laughs> he came off. He came off. I knew he was. Hey, keeper, you want to hold your fish up? Thank you. Oh, he's all sandy. Well, these sheep's head have teeth almost like a human. And that's how they can chomp down on barnacles, shrimp, crab, oysters. It's pretty cool. <laughs> all right. What is that? Sheep's head. Yeah, that's a sheep's head. They're very good eating fish. Now, they do have a size limit on them. And they have to be 12 inches to the fork. So what that means is from the from the tip of the nose, you got to measure to where the fork in the tail. If it's 12 inches here, it's not long enough. But if it's 12 inches here, that's where it's got to be. So we'll go measure them and uh, see if we can keep them. But I can already tell you that's going to be a keeper, but we'll measure them anyway. Here's a ruler on the side. But he is pretty much 16 and a half inches to the fork. So he's a keeper and he's going to go on ice. Beautiful fish though. But that's what we're after. Good job. Thank you. All right. So, she caught that perfect sheep's head, which those are really good eating. I can't throw back a sheep's head if they're a keeper. They're just really good to eat. Pain in the butt clean. They're really good to eat. So, we're going to drop down again. See if I can get one. She beat me already. She, she's already one on the board. All right. Let us sink to the bottom and give it a couple turns up. There's a bite right there. Something just pecking the heck out of that shrimp. Dang. Ah. What do I have? Oh yeah, just a little pinfish. Oh crap, oh. All right, not exactly what I was looking for. It's a little pinfish. Pretty good bait though, but he's going back. Oh, you caught that? Oh, that's a rock crab. It's a spider. Are you, you gonna release them? Don't fall Oh, off. that sucker would hurt. I know, that's like. Hold on, hold it still. Look at him. Crab. I think it's some sort of rock crab. Looks like it would hurt pretty bad, but he tried to eat mom's filler, so I'm gonna unhook it. There we go. You. All right, you're free. And we're gonna we're gonna turn him back, but a uh, pretty cool looking crab. Got red eyes and a pretty big claw. So there he goes. What you got? What the? Oh, hey, a puffer fish. Hey. Little spiny puffer fish. Oh, are you on? Are you video? Oh, they do spike. They do have some spikes on them. Are you video? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, you got. Look at him. Yeah, little puffer Hi, fish. Spit it out. <laughs> so that's what you call a porky fish. Porky. Ah, uh, that's what you call a puffer fish. Um, right now I can't remember the name, but I know it'll come to me. We're gonna get him back in the water, but he ha does have spikes on him. I don't know if they're poisonous or not, but I know the spikes, they don't really hurt you, but they are pretty, pretty solid. And they have teeth, so you don't wanna, you don't wanna stick your, you know, you don't wanna stick your fingers in there. Oh, he's trying to puff up. Okay, we're gonna get him back in the water, I feel bad. <laughs> That's the puffer fish. <laughs> we're gonna get him back in the water though. You know, I know he wants to go back in. There you go, buddy. Oh, look. There he goes. <laughs> Funny. All right, that was a pretty dang slow day, but we didn't get skunked. We did get one nice sheep's head. 
And that's what mom caught. But hey, that was a target fish. So we accomplished our goal, even though we didn't get a whole bunch, which that's why they call it fishing and not catching. But we're gonna go clean this up and then uh, get it ready for either dinner or uh, an early lunch. So, but thanks for watching. I wanna thank the good Lord up above for everything he's done for us and we'll see you later.